hi all welcome to another video of tech insert today we are going to make a 12 volt transformerless power supply the output current will be less than 100 milliampere but the size of the power supply is much much reduced these are the components used for assembling this power supply we will try to assemble this power supply inside the three pin plug so that the power supply will be very small in size I am not quite sure whether it is possible or not. We will make a try and if we are unable to make it then we will assemble this inside a small box and we will glue it at the outside of the 3 pin plug. We must use 3 pin plug for this kind of power supply and we cannot use 2 pin plug here. The reason I will explain to you while testing the circuit then only you will clearly understand why should not we use a 2 pin plug. Okay, Let us do it. First we will assemble the circuit and test it, then we must be sure whether this is working fine or not. After that we will assemble this circuit inside the 3 pin plug. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please click subscribe button. Press the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever we upload a new video. I am making a 12 volt power supply. So I am using 12 volt Senna diode. If you want a 5 volt power supply, use a 5 volt Senna diode. So whatever voltage you want, use a Senna diode with that much voltage. Senna is used for voltage regulation. Senna is always connected in reverse polarity in all circuits. Here we are connecting a red wire for plus 12 volt power supply and black wire for ground or negative terminal. We are connecting the wire across the filtering capacitor. The wire I am connecting is for the input power supply that is 230 volt uh, input. Let us power it on. You can see the tester a neon lamp is lighting. I will circle it for you and that means the yellow line is the phase line and the green is the neutral line. The phase line is connected to the polystyrene capacitor. Now I am going to touch the output wire in order to test whether I will get electric shock or not. First of all I will touch the red wire and I am not wearing any chapels or shoes. Then I will touch the red wire and black wire simultaneously. We are doing this with all precautions. See, I am not getting an electric shock here because the output is having only 12 volt. Let us test it with an LED connected to output wires, red and black. I will explain you why I am not getting electric shock and the problem with the 2 pin plug. This is phase and this is neutral. The phase line will go through the capacitor, then rectifier, filter 
it's an R regulator and we will get the output. See, I am touching in the output. There will not be any shock hazard here. The reason I am not getting electroshock is because the almost all current will be dropped across the capacitor. That is why the output is having less current in about less than 100 milliampere only. If you are using a two pin plug for input power supply and you reverse the connection at the input socket, what will happen is the yellow line will be having neutral line and the green line will be having phase line. So, the phase line will come through the 10 ohm resistor and reaches the red wire that is 12 volt. If you are touching the red wire and standing in the ground, then you will get electroshock. There is a very high probability or chance that we will reverse the input connection in two pin plug. So, never ever use two pin plug for this kinds of power supply. That is why we must use a three pin plug where the phase and neutral will never be reversed here. Let us try to assemble this inside a three pin plug. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please click subscribe button. Press the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever we upload a new video. If you have any other idea of assembling this power supply, please comment on this video. If you like our video, please click like button. Brown wire is positive and black wire is negative. It is very dangerous to play with high voltage. Before testing this, please check the circuit carefully. Also fix all the components including connection wires using glue stick perfectly so that if the 3 pin plug is falling from you it will not change the components position. This is a 12 volt 5 rpm motor and this motor is used in a table fan oscillation purpose. Uh, Let us check whether uh, this will work or not. This is a 12 volt LED. Since the output current is less than 100 milliampere, the brightness of the LED is very less. Try this at your home. If you like our video, please click like button. If you do not like our video, click dislike button. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please click subscribe button. This is KR with the GR and M signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.